Hi, my name is JC Park from JC Parkland. Today I want to talk about the attached gingiva or keratinized gingiva. Attached gingiva is a hard and very strong soft tissue surrounding the tooth and supporting it. And it is identified by the mucogingival junction from the alveolar mucosa. The attached gingiva or keratinized gingiva is usually measured from the distance from the mucogingival junction and to the top of the gingival margin or the projection of the bottom of the gingival sulcus. The problem with the conventional measurement of the attached gingiva is many researchers used a very straight periodontal probe, but there is a many rooms for the errors from the measurements. I will show you why. Uh, in our department in Tanguk University, we are using a digital oral scanner for the measurement of the keratinized tissues. Uh, specifically, we are using I-500 scanner from Medit, South Korea. And after the scan of the healthy population, after with the uh, staining using Lugol's iodine solution, you get the external link so that we can see from the web browsers. So if you click the link and you will see exactly this uh, picture. Uh, this is from the web browser. Without any installation of the application, you can go directly to this link. It is very light and very fast, so you can rotate your um, scanning and also you can zoom in and you can zoom out. So it's easy to share and easy to study after the scanning. So let's go back to the attached gingiva. You will see that the dark area is the alveolar mucosa and the attached or keratinized tissue is relatively pinkish and bright because it does not have uh, fewer, less uh, glycogen content in the external surfaces. So it does not get stained. Meanwhile, the alveolar mucosa has a lot of glycogen compositions and it's darkly um, stained. So let's uh, let's take an example of the first molar here upper a uh, lower first molar when you measure you with the periodontal probe you will see that oh it, it is usually a uh, two or three millimeters like this the problem is this keratinized tissue is not flat surface if you rotate and if you look closely this keratinized tissue is not flat rather it has curvatures it has ups and downs and are we using the straight periodontal probe for the measurement no there is a high chance of the um, myth uh, measurement the true uh, number can be different so using this digital scanner technique we can automatically measure the true distance between the gingival margin to the mucogingival junctions and also we can measure the area the area of the keratinized tissue so this is a very dramatic uh, development improvement of the measurement technique and we are aggressively doing a clinical study to enroll patient with the healthy uh, uh, periodontium and in their 20s and we are now aggressively measuring the whole uh, keratinized tissue and attached gingiva around the tooth. So hopefully in the near future, we will be happy to share the results by the publications. And until then, please stay tuned to my YouTube channel and please subscribe to my channel and give me a lot of replies. Thank you very much. This is JC Park from JC Parkland.